Hello. Hello, this is Adam Smith calling from the website of the Nobel Prize in Stockholm. Many congratulations. Yes, well, thank you very much. <laughs> Indeed, it's been, a, it's been a wonderful surprise. It's quite a day um, receiving the world's oldest scientific prize in London and then hearing about the Nobel Prize on the same day. Yes, it's quite a day. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> this puts you in the company of everybody, of Darwin, of Einstein, you name it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you live long enough, you never know how it's going to come out. <laughs> Well, uh, since you mention it, I guess people will be asking you a lot about the fact that you are the oldest ever person to be awarded the Nobel Prize. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm very happy to have been able to live this long. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you any have you any secret to impart for a long life in research? No, I I, I just they don't retire too early. <laughs> Good advice. Now, the committee have cited your work in Oxford in the early 80s when you developed uh, lithium-ion batteries, but the work continues, doesn't it? Well, we're working on how to develop a polymer which uh, has an immobilized liquid in it so that it conducts lithium or sodium as fast as in the liquid. That's what we're working on, and 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 and, and, the, and the the liquid is immobilized, so it's like a solid state material. I wanted to mention to you, Professor Goodenough, I was an Oxford chemistry undergraduate when you were head of the Department of Inorganic Chemistry. I see, and so you're glad you didn't have to listen to my lectures. <laughs> <laughs> At least they didn't fall asleep, right? <laughs> no, the teddy bears managed to stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, can you describe how you feel when you see everybody using the batteries that you helped develop? Well, let me say again, it's how people use the technology. It's the important thing. You put the technology out there, and it can be used for ill or for good. And if they use it for good, I'm very happy. If they use it for bad, well, I feel badly about it. But that's that's the way life works. Technology is morally neutral. It's how we use technology that determines everything. So, yes, the onus is very much on us to make the right choices. It's it's a huge pleasure to speak to you. I very much look forward to speaking more when you come to Stockholm in December. For now, I should let you get on and um, receive your Copley Medal at the Royal Society today. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.